What's going on, Hall Chargers? I am Rios, aka Chelly Chell, and I am the Sergeant Major of Philly. Yo, if you enjoy the content that I'm putting out, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that bell icon for notification when new content is coming out. Mission, discuss what is mindfulness. Situation, in this world of technology, and everybody's stuck on their phones, our minds are just everywhere else and focus on other people's lives. Example, celebrity. Outcome. As a result of this discussion, viewers will get an understanding on what is mindfulness. What mindfulness pretty much is, is being in the here and now. Awareness of everything and anything around you. Your mind, your heart, your body, and the environment is paying attention on purpose. Just that simple, pretty much. And with your mind, your heart, your body, and the environment, everything is comes from that. What you're feeling, your thoughts, physical feelings of you could be moving around, touching some or anything, how you feel, what you're thinking. It's paying attention to all these things on purpose. The biggest word on it is awareness, having awareness. You see with us, our minds are most of the time always in the past or in the future, never in the present. And our thinking and our thoughts are always so much everywhere, most of the time in a negative realm. And we start believing that that negative is true, which holds us back from actuality and possibility. And with me saying that is, like, when you're thinking we got the past, our mind's always in the past, worrying about what people did to us in the past, what we wish we should have had done, all types of things in the past and keeping ourselves there. And also, you got the future. We thinking of the future. Oh, well, in these years, I want to be here, or, or I want to have this, I want to do this. We thinking of so many things, but never, never on the actual what's in the present, what is now. And with our thoughts, that just fucks us up. Our thoughts are everywhere. Negative, believing like, yo, I'm fucked up. I'm not that smart. I can't do this. I'm not financially stable. I'm, I'm, I'm overweight. And always just thinking, thinking, thinking in the negative, keeping us in that state of that negative realm, but not broadening our thoughts up on the actuality in life and the possibility. Because all these things can get fixed. You see, what we all neglect is that, you know, the present, the present time is the only time we have to do anything. Nothing is promised. The next second is not promised. So the present is the only time we have to be able to do anything. Example, improve ourselves. Total, however, improve ourselves. Relationships, relationships we have among our friends, just people, or, or with significant others, as well as you, life, life period, life in total. This, the only time is the present that we have to do anything about. And what we do is neglect the present because of the past or because we're in the future. You see, mindfulness, right? In today's world, people is mostly focused on their phones with that technology. Not that it's nothing bad, but we'll be focused on their phones and be walking across the street and anything, not knowing what's in front of them, bump into somebody, get hit by a car. Not being mindful of their own environment, all right? And you got us 
who always, we, we be in our thoughts, we be in the past, we be in the future, but never in the present. Learn to sit down, relax, feel something, enjoy that coffee. Being mindful that you're drinking the coffee, the taste of that coffee. Um, being mindful of where you step to or where you're sitting at. Paying attention on purpose to whatever it is. All right? Being mindful of that. Your breath breathing in and out. Being mindful of that. When I let go of my ego and my pride, when I was going through this combat program because of issues, I thought, well, what the hell is this mindfulness? I didn't know what the hell it was. I'm like, man, this shit ain't gonna work, whatever, whatever. But it does. There's a lot of things I learned and a lot of things that work. Learn to be mindful because at the end of the day, that helps you with your thoughts. It's repetition, get out of your way with your thoughts so you don't be depressed, so you don't have anxiety, so you can slow that down, improve part of your mental health. Let me show you this gem. You can get through anything if you stay put in today. I'm the Sergeant Major of Philly, and I got to sit. Unfuck yourself always, hard chargers. Philly 7 out.